Everybody gets a heart. Everybody gets a soul. Everybody gets a mind to let them know that we can be smart. And we can be kind. And we can be living by giving and loving all the time. So on the days when it's feeling tough, and it seems like you don't have enough, well, let's be thankful for our friends and family, and grateful for the air that we breathe and appreciate everything that we have today. Let's be generous to anyone who has less than us. It's good to be compassionate. Cause ever since the day you were born, yeah, we've got a lot to be thankful for. Yeah, we've got a lot to be thankful for. Everybody gets the land, and everybody gets a seed. So everybody lend a hand to those in need. 'Cause we can be nice. We can be nice. We can all share, and we can keep growing together. It's better when everyone cares. So on the days when it's feeling tough, and it seems like you don't have enough, well, let's be. Thankful for our friends and family, and grateful for the air that we breathe, and appreciate everything that we have today. Let's be generous to anyone who has less than us. It's good to be compassionate. 'Cause ever since the day you were born, yeah, you got a lot to be thankful for. Yeah, we've got a lot to be thankful for. So, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my family. I am thankful for my neighbor. I'm thankful for my dog. I am thankful for the food I have to eat. I'm thankful for my heart. I am thankful for my grandma and grandpa. I'm thankful for my teacher. I am thankful for my house. We're thankful for the earth. So on the days when it's feeling tough. And it seems like you don't have enough. Well, let's be thankful for our friends and family, and grateful for the air that we breathe, and appreciate everything that we have today. Let's be generous to anyone who has less than us. It's good to be compassionate. 'Cause ever since the day you were born, yeah, you got a lot to be thankful for. Yeah, we've got a lot to be thankful for. Grateful. Uh huh. We've got a lot to be thankful for. Appreciate. Yeah, we've got a lot to be thankful for. Hey. All right. We've got a lot to be thankful for. It means to really accept what you have and be happy about what you have. I'm thankful for my family, and I'm thankful for my friends, and I'm thankful for my food and my school and my teachers and oxygen and earth and my home. And my bed, and warm, and my clothes, <laughs> and my Christmas tree. <laughs> I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. Gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just wanna lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just wanna lift my heart in praise, and I wanna be thankful. I wanna be grateful. I wanna remember everything that the Lord has done. I wanna be.
to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in Today we're going to talk about something very important. That thing is thankfulness. You know that holiday where you eat a bunch of food and watch football? No! That's Thanksgiving! We are talking about thankfulness. We'll look at Psalm 100 and find out what thankfulness is really about. Let's get started! Thankfulness is the opposite of grumpiness. Everybody gets grumpy sometimes. Maybe you're grumpy when you first wake up. Or when you're hungry? Or when your siblings are being annoying? Lots of things make us grumpy, but there's good news. But if we have a thankful heart, we can be happy even when we want to be grumpy. So let's find out how. Thankfulness is a choice. Did you know that even when things aren't going your way, you don't have to be grumpy. You can choose to be thankful. Let's take a look about what Psalm 100 has to say. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, seeing Him with joy. This verse says that we should always choose to be thankful. And that's the whole point of this lesson. But sometimes it can be hard to choose thankfulness. Why would we be thankful if things aren't going our way? We can be thankful because God is good. See kids, even when things are really tough, God is good. I bet if you really think about it, you can make a whole list of things you should be thankful for. And all of those good things are because God gave them to you. And if you read Psalm 100, you'll see that God's love is forever and He's always faithful. He will never stop loving us and never give up on us. Now that's something to be thankful for. Remember this! Enter His gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Kids, next time you start to feel grumpy, remember this verse. Think of all the things that God has given to you and all the things he has done for you. And choose to be thankful, not grumpy.